All right, so I know it's been a while, but here I am finally making a tutorial again. Also, can we just talk about how it just got cold all of a sudden? Like, we never really had a fall. At least where I am, man. I mean, like, we had, like, summer, and then we had colder summer, and we had freezing winter. Like, there was no, there was no in between. Anyhow, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, and also sorry I haven't been active, like, with the live streams and stuff. I'm working on a schedule right now. My schedule has been crazy outside of this, so I'm trying to balance that and JG games at the same time, and it's not going well right now. But here I am making a video four weeks after my last one, so hooray! Anyhow, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about making a more advanced health bar in Unity. Now, I know I promised this a couple weeks ago, like maybe a month ago, but now we're finally getting around to doing this, and we are actually going to do it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop on the PC and let's get started. All right, so I'm trying out the webcam because I've used it in the past with my 10 minute game video and I kind of like that angle. So I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to use it in these tutorials. Obviously, if there's something in the bottom right hand corner of my screen that's really important, I'm going to readjust the video so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But yeah, so let me know if you guys like this angle in the comments down below. And if you guys like it enough, I might end up getting a better webcam because this thing was like 10 bucks. So in this scene right now, we've had a saw slider up here that is our health bar. But what we're going to do is we're going to disable the slider. We're also going to disable the script so that whenever we try to change the health value that they both don't change at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the game manager. This is where we have our simple health bar script. And I'm just going to disable this script right here. But we're going to leave deal damage on. We're just going to disable simple health bar script. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the slider over here and we're just going to go on this checkbox to disable it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go game object UI image and this is going to put this right smack dab in the center of our screen but what we're going to do is we're going to click on this square right here we'll shift and alt and we're going to mark it to the top middle and then we're going to offset this quite a bit so i'm going to offset this on the x by negative 100 so that it puts it up kind of the side and then what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this image over and over again so i'm going to right click and i'm going to duplicate this once and then twice and then on this one we're just going to set this one to zero and i'm just going to move it around just a little bit so you can see that they're actually like right next to each other change that back to zero then go down to image three and we're going to set this one to 100. so now we have these three images on the top of our screen but now we need something to actually put there. So because I don't want to have to make my own image, I've just gone on Google and looked for my own. So I'm just gonna click on this transparent tab right here. And we're gonna choose one that I think will work best. This one should work. I don't know if it's transparent or not. Yeah, that should work. So we're just gonna right click and we are going to save this image. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click and drag this from Google Chrome into here so that we just have a reference to it. And now we've got a heart that we can use for our images up here. So because this image is already transparent, we actually don't need to do anything in Photoshop to make the image transparent. So what we can do is just click on our image and then we can go to texture type and we can change this to Sprite and then just hit apply and then it will make the image transparent and it will allow us to use them up here. So I'm just gonna click on image one and then I'm gonna drag this sprite into this source image right here. And then I'm gonna click on image two and I'm also gonna drag the source image in right there. And then image three, same thing like so. Now obviously because we have three health icons, we have really three lives. So we're gonna set our health to three. So I'm gonna go over to our main camera where we put our health script and I'm gonna change this to three. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create our new script. So I'm gonna right click create a new C sharp script called advanced health. And we're just gonna double click on this to open it in Visual Studio. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the simple health bar script just so we can copy a couple of these lines because they will be similar. So the first thing we're gonna copy is we're gonna copy this variable right here because we're gonna be using this in our advanced health bar. So I'm just gonna copy that over to here. Just go down a line and then paste it in. And we'll reformat it in a minute. Then we're just gonna go over to our simple health bar script again and we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste this into our start function right here. Now another thing we need is we need a reference to our images that we just created. Now unfortunately, we can't do this naturally through the Unity engine. We have to actually have an extension of this engine. So we're just gonna go up here to these using statements and I'm just gonna type using Unity engine dot UI. Now that we've got this, we can create a new array of images. I'm gonna use an array because we're actually going to have multiple images and it makes it really easy when selecting certain objects in that array. So we don't have to worry about doing something like making image one variable and image two variable and image three variable. We just set it to go to that variable and find the first item in this list. So we're gonna create a public image and then we're gonna do two square brackets and we're gonna call these health 
images. All right, now that we've got this, we need to go ahead and create a reference to our player health. Now, last time what we did was we just got this component or whatever, and we set the health bar dot value to the player health dot health. Well, I actually want to make a variable for this so that we can access this later. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new int. We're going to just leave this just like this. We're just going to call it health. And then in our void update at the very first line, we are just going to say health is equal to player health dot health. Now we can just use one variable for this entire thing. So what I'm going to do this is I'm going to do zero to two going left to right. So zero would be the leftmost health image. And then two would be the rightmost. And obviously one would be the middle one. So I'm just going to comment that up here. So I'm going to say zero to two. And then I'm just going to say left to right. So there are several ways we can do this. And one of the most obvious ones is just to use if statements. So you could say if the health is equal to three, then there's three health bars. But there's actually a much easier way to do this. We can use what's called a switch to switch between the variables based off of what another variable is. And all we have to do to call this is just to type switch and then our variable in this parentheses. And because we're doing all these health images based off of how much health our player has, all we can do is just type in health. And then we open this up like any if statement would. So this is often referred to as a case break scenario. So basically in this scenario, when health is three, case number three is going to be run because it's calling that in the case that the variable is three, run this function. So we're just gonna start off by doing full health. So we're gonna say case three and then a colon. And we're going to go down one line and hit tab in just for formatting sake. And then inside of here, because we want all of the health images to be up, then we're just going to type in a simple loop statement that's called a for each statement. Basically allows us to go through an entire array and perform the same action on all the objects in the array. So we're going to say for each image, image in health images. So we're just going to open this up. And inside of here, we're going to say image dot game object dot set active true because we want them all to be enabled. Now you notice that we have this red line right now underneath case, but that's just because that the coding engine right now doesn't know where to stop. It just thinks it keeps going for the rest of the function. So what we do is we go down one line and we just type in break, hence the name case break system. So therefore, whenever the health is equal to three, all of the game objects are going to be enabled so that you can see every single one of the hearts that we put in our scene. And then what we're gonna do is we can just copy this for the next couple. So we're just gonna copy this right here. And then underneath, we're just gonna do this again. It's gonna give you an error because there's already a case three. We're just gonna change this to case two. And we're gonna delete this for each statement in the middle because now we have to start doing it individually. Now, one way we could do this is we could just set only the ones that we want to be up to true, or we can just turn off the ones that we don't want to be on. So in this case, the one we don't want to be on is number two because he has two health and we're going from right to left. So we're just gonna say health images to dot game object dot set active false and just because this is really simple and because you also want to be able to go back up in health if that ever happens what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this line right here and we're going to paste it twice more so that we can just do zero right here and one right here and then set these both to true so now we can just copy this case right here and we can go down a couple more lines and we can change this to case one. Now we just want only the first health image to be available. So we're just gonna delete this right here and type false, just like that. And then we can go down one more line and we can say case zero. But in this case, our player is dead. So we now want to make every single one of these false. So I'm just gonna change this one to false and then also change this one to false. And then underneath all this, we're just gonna say debug.log player dead. And now we know that our player is dead. You can do a lot of things right here. You could load to a different scene. You could destroy an object. You can do all kinds of stuff like this at this line right here. So what we can do is we can just save this right here. And now we're gonna go back into Unity. And now we should not have any compiler errors, so we should be good. Now in the last tutorial that we did on the health bar, we put the health script on the game manager object. So I'm just gonna click on the game manager object and just drag the advanced health over here. You'll notice that we have this variable right here for health images, and if we open it, it says size zero. We're actually gonna change this to size three because we have three images. And notice that it's also labeled them zero, one, and two because that's how the computer is going to count, and that's also how we count it in our code. And so now we're just gonna drag in image one for the first image, image two to the second one, and image three to the third one. Now what we should be able to do is just run the script, and now whenever we click take damage, you'll notice that one goes away. We click take damage again, one more goes away. 
and we click take damage one more time all of them go away and you can notice down here at the bottom left hand corner it says player dead but anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this video sucked then you know what to do but if it didn't drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content don't forget to check out our website social media and merch as well as our community discord server all of those links will be in the description below thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time